Hello, and welcome to Star Citizen. My name is Even Lease, and today on Does It Fit? We have the <laughs> Avenger Titan, which I'm currently standing on. We're going to see what fits in here and what doesn't. Let's get to it. Now, before we get started, I do want to let you know in this series, I will be showing you as many vehicles as possible that actually do fit, and then only a few that don't fit. But at the very end of the video, I will list every single uh, known ground vehicle that does and does not fit. The first starting vehicle is the PTV. So let's go ahead and get in it and see what happens. Okay, we're in the PTV, and let's go ahead and bring this thing into the Avenger Titan, if it'll let me. All right, nice and lined up. Perfect. Oh. Obviously. And I want to just kind of give myself a little bit of room to get out of this thing since it's got a bit of an angle there. All right. Looks like it works. Let's go ahead and turn it off and make sure I can get out. Awesome. So the PTV is a good fitting little land vehicle here. I can make it to the cockpit, which is great. And I could probably just jump right over the back wheel. Yep. Perfect. All right. The PTV fits. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Next up, I'm going to see if the Nox fits. And I believe this one should, but let's go ahead and take a look. All right. We're in this thing. Let's go ahead and lower it to the ground. Make it go a little bit slower, and let's see what we can do here. Ooh, it's going to be an interesting one. Engines off. Uh, well then, I'd say that fits. Let me go ahead and hop off and see what we're looking at here. Wow, that is fully in there too. That was quite loud. I felt like I was glitching my head through the ceiling, and I was just hearing the... <laughs> wow, that's actually beautiful. Holy cow. That fits amazingly. I'm in love with that. That's perfect. Awesome. So the NOX, or NOX, fits. Very cool. Let's move on to the next one. Next up, we do have the Drake Dragonfly. Let's go ahead and see how this fits in the Avenger Titan. All right, we're a little high off the ground. Let me lower it here and let's bring it into the back. See what happens. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay, Drake Dragonfly just might be a little bit too big. I'm gonna try one last time here. It's not gonna happen. I feel like it's just. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Uh-oh. I feel like that is a problem. <laughs> okay, does it fit safely? No. And no, don't don't let me... I don't want to... Okay, let's see if I can get it out of here now without blowing up. All right, so mount. Okay, now let's back out. Come on. Come on. If I power it down, power it up. Okay. Hmm. Almost got it. Come on. Ah! Come on. Come on. Let me out. Ooh, whoa. Okay. Well, we got it out. Let's go ahead and turn this off. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Oh, please don't. Okay. Ooh, I thought that was about to like, just throw me right through the planet. Okay. Or the moon. <laughs> That's a big, uh, big no. I don't ever want to do that again. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Wow, it just got suddenly clear out here. I like that. Hopefully it stays that way for a little bit. Next up for hover vehicles is the hover quad. Let's go ahead and see if this fits into the Avenger Titan. After that previous experience with the Dragonfly, I'm a little bit wary about this, but let's give it a shot here. Oh yeah, oh, much better. 
I feel like I went in a little fast, so it probably glitched up a little bit there, but I definitely was able to get it into the back here much smoother. Let me hop out and see how I just positioned it, see if it's okay for a ride here. I feel like I could close the door. Do I want to right now? No. Let's do it for science. Okay, that would work. Now let's see how easy it is to get it out of the space sh uh, ship here. I was going to say space shuttle. It just reminds me of the space shuttle. I mean, the way it looks. <laughs> let's turn this on and back it out. Okay, so far, I am just a big fan of the way that the Nox fit in there compared to the Dragonfly and the Hover Quad. Hover Quad at least fits, but it's kind of scary. I feel like you're going to explode. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything else that fits in this thing. Next up, we have the STV. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one and see if it can fit into the back of the Avenger Titan. I'm going to probably have to say no. This thing's pretty wide. I'm going to have to say no. That did not fit too well. <sighs> the Anvil Ballista. <laughs> That's going to be a no. <laughs> uh. I mean, look at this. It's like the length of the ship. <laughs> and that is the Avenger Titan on Does It Fit? And as you can see on screen, the vehicles that we tested today, the PTV, the Knox, and the Hover Quad, those three do fit, and there's quite a few that don't. Now, I'm not too sure about the X1. I'll have to have somebody in the comments let me know because I did not have one available for me to test at the time. But if it's anything like the Knox, it should be able to fit. Otherwise, I thought this thing is pretty awesome for being able to fit even one ground vehicle. <laughs> let me know what you think of what this ship can carry and what you've been able to fit in this thing down in the comments below thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next one